Welcome to Newsbreak, the show covering everything happening around Charles County Public Schools. I'm Aaron Sello. It has been a while since our last episode, but we are back showing how one school is helping another, plus getting you ready for graduation. But first, time to celebrate having no snow days this school year. I know, I know, most students and staff would have liked having a few this year, but there is one big benefit. The school year ends earlier. Here are changes to the school calendar for the week after graduations. June 5th to the 8th are now two hour early dismissal days. June 8th will be the last day of school for students. June 9th is the last day of school for teachers. Dr. Maria Navarro announced the calendar changes at the April board meeting. The school system used zero snow days this school year, which is an extremely rare occurrence. Please make a note of these changes in your parent handbook calendar and enjoy the early start to your summer. Each high school will be a little thinner the first full week of June because one group of students will be long gone. The class of 2023 will graduate after Memorial Day weekend. Here's a brief primer for what to expect for this year's commencement exercises. It begins on May 30th as North Point High School holds their commencement exercises in the morning, followed by Henry E. Lackey High School in the afternoon. The next day, the class of 2023 from St. Charles High School will graduate, followed by Maurice J. McDonough High School in the afternoon. The first day of June features the graduating classes from Westlake and La Plata holding their commencement ceremonies. Commencement exercises wrap up on June 2nd with Thomas Stone High School graduating in the morning. All ceremonies will be held at Regency Furniture Stadium, home of the Southern Maryland Blue Crabs. Gates will open for each graduation no later than a half hour before each ceremony. Graduates need to be dropped off at St. Charles High School no later than an hour before each ceremony for staging and setup. All graduates are allotted eight tickets, but each ceremony will be streamed live on the front of ccboe.com and on Charles County Public Schools' YouTube page. In the event of bad weather, the school system will make a decision no later than 6.30 a.m. for at least the 9 a.m. graduation. Weather forecasts will dictate whether one or both graduations scheduled for each day will continue as scheduled or postponed. Charles County Public Schools will announce postponements and rescheduling on ccboe.com and the school system's social media sites once a decision is made, so stay tuned. Many members of the class of 2023 were freshmen when COVID-19 hit. There were a number of programs that stopped and special activities in which students could not participate. Slowly, many of these programs have started to re-emerge, including this one, at J.C. Parks Elementary School. These visitors are students from Henry E. Lackey High School's National Honor Society. Since February, they come over every Monday and Wednesday to tutor J.C. Park students. The school calls this Charger Time, which is actually the name of Lackey's hour lunch schedule. Whether it's math, reading, social studies, or science, these Chargers do their best to help these Mustangs do their best. Often, NHS members are peppered with questions about what high school is like, what they do at Lackey, and other secondary education related topics. The students from Lackey are happy to answer any question and want these students to have a good impression of the high school they will attend one day. It feels good because the kids always like look up to you and ask you a lot of questions about what you're doing or what you are you going to college. I think it's a good way for high schoolers to get back into the elementary kids that they were once not too long ago. Me doing that for them now is going to change how they view high school and how they are in high school. Lackey also I feel like sometimes gets forgotten, you know, smaller school it's out here so doing something like this that brings some attention is good. I just would like to show that we are giving back, we're getting involved, we're focused on not just ourselves here but also people who will come after us. The program started about six years ago by a member of Lackey's National Honor Society. It's time for News to Know, a segment that gives you the dates, times, places, and events that you need to know. That is why we call it News to Know. 
Schools will dismiss two hours early on May 18. All schools and offices will be closed on May 29th in observance of Memorial Day. Charles County Public Schools pupil personnel workers will be holding a community day on May 18th. This is a great place for families to find services like health and dental information, get required immunizations or free clothing, and find financial support resources to pay for basic needs like housing. The event takes place at St. Charles High School from 3 to 6 in the afternoon. Parents, are you wondering what to do with your child this summer? There are a host of free and affordable summer camps for students enrolled in Charles County Public Schools to join. All you have to do is sign them up by going to the link on your screen. Some camps help students explore interests or careers, while others help prepare them for AP classes. You can send your child to explore nature down in Nanjamoy, or stay active and have fun at the Lackey Summer Youth Camp. All camps remain open until they are full. Check it out today. That will do it for this edition of Newsbreak. I'm Aaron Sello. We will see you next time and wish you a happy May. Bye.